2020, uh, Kenosha Police Department officers were dispatched to a resident residence in the 2800 block of 40th Street after a female caller reported that her boyfriend was present and was not supposed to be on the premises. During the incident, officers attempted to arrest Jacob S. Blake, age 29. Uh, law enforcement deployed a taser to attempt to stop Mr. Blake, uh, but the taser was not successful in stopping him. Mr. Blake walked around his vehicle, opened the driver's side door, and leaned forward. While holding on to Mr. Blake's shirt, Officer Rustin Shesky fired his service weapon seven times. Officer Shesky fired the weapon into Mr. Blake's back. No other officer fired their weapon. The Kenosha Police Department uh, does not have body cameras, and therefore the officers uh, were not wearing body cameras. Uh, the shooting officer, Kenosha Police Officer Rustin Shesky, has been a law enforcement officer with the Kenosha Police Department uh, for seven years. During the investigation following the initial incident, uh, Mr. Blake admitted that he had a knife in his possession, uh, and DCI agents, that's the Division of Criminal Investigation, uh, recovered a knife from the driver's side floorboard of Mr. Blake's vehicle. Uh, a search of the vehicle located no additional weapons. Uh, law enforcement immediately provided medical aid to Mr. Blake, uh, and Flight for Life transported him to Freighter Hospital in Milwaukee. Uh, Mr. Blake remains at the hospital. Uh, the Division of Criminal Investigation at the Wisconsin Department of Justice is leading this investigation, and it's being assisted by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Wisconsin State Patrol, and the Kenosha County Sheriff's Office. Uh, all involved law enforcement officers are fully cooperating with DCI during the investigation, uh, and the involved officers have been placed on administrative leave.